Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to spend some time with you today telling you about my holiday open house. Uh, Julie asked me to get some notes together to share with you how easy and fun and really worth your time it is to do a holiday open house this season. Um, what I decided to do was to invite some uh, new uh, people, potential customers in my neighborhood who weren't previously aware that I sold Pampered Chef. Um, so I made a flyer and I went door to door and I introduced myself. Here's the flyer that I made. It's nothing fantastic, but um, it just explained, you know, that we're having a holiday open house, where it was going to be, what time. Um, I offered an RSVP. Um, if you RSVP, you get a free gift. And uh, if you bring a friend, you get free shipping and, of course, my contact information. So I uh, went out with uh, my husband and my daughter. And we conquered, divided and conquered the street, and I went up to the door and I basically said something like this. Hi, um, I'm a neighbor. My name is Rachel. Um, I'm also your local Pampered Chef consultant. Are you familiar with the Pampered Chef? And I would wait for them to answer. Um, and then I would say, um, I wanted to invite you to my holiday open house. It's going to be this Saturday at the clubhouse from 10 to 2. Um, I would love for you to join me, um, and you can bring any friends that you want to um, bring with you, and that would be awesome. I'm going to give you a free gift when you RSVP, and I also want to email you a coupon that's special for, to be used on the day of the open house. Um, would that be something that you're interested in coming to? And then if, you know, they would answer, I would then hand them my clipboard. And on the clipboard, I had a spot for their name, their phone number, their email, and an RSVP response. Um, what this really gave, you, gave me was um, them committing whether or not they were coming. They always put their phone number down, really when I didn't ask them for it, but since it's a spot on the list, they filled it out. And then their email information, which was super important. Um, then I would thank them for their time and then hand them a mini catalog and the flyer and tell them how excited I was to see them on Saturday. Now, I went out on Thursday afternoon, and this is the first contact I had ever had. My show was going to be on Saturday and probably hit up 40 or 50 houses um, between my husband and, and myself. Um, out of those 40 or 50 houses, I got 15 people who said that they wanted to come to the show and gave me their email addresses. So what I did is I went home, went to the beta site, created a show, and then I emailed an invite to everyone who gave me their email address and changed the wording on the invite to say, here's your coupon for a free cookbook or whatever it is you decided to do. Um, you'll get that when you RSVP. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, next, I had to decide what I was going to do for food. I wanted to keep it super simple, so I decided to do a veggie tray with the cool and serve tray. I made up two different dips: um, a garlic, uh, no, a three onion dip and a citrus basil dip. Um, then I did brownies with the brown pan. That's my dog. And then I also did um, mini pesto pizza, which I served on the, the shimmering glass tiered platter so that they could see kind of three different ways you, we have of serving things. Um, and then I decided to do a spinach and artichoke hot dip demo. So I saved that to do as a demo at the, at the open house. Alrighty. The next I did, thing I did was create some holiday gift ideas because I called it a holiday um, open house. These are just a couple of the things that I put together um, that I whisk you a Merry Christmas whisk, um, the, the glove, you know, some of the double wall tumbler things. And I set out a table with these gift ideas along with um, the Christmas tree I put my next available dates on and then um, also the gift idea for under $10 flyer. I had all this set up on a table. Um, and then I also had, um, and most of these ideas come in the mini, mini holiday gift catalog. You don't have to come up with these things on your own. Um, I also had a raffle with some prizes that I had collected from, from free products I had from shows I had done. So I gave away a covered roaster, a large micro cooker, a slotted turner, and a decorator bottle set. So I just had a raffle for this. I made a sign for the raffle and the different ways that they could earn the tickets. 
Um, this was to get them to buy, to know that they were going to spend money. <laughs> so for, you got three tickets for every $25 you spent. Um, and then you also got tickets for booking a show, five for in December or January, and then you get ten tickets for booking a show in November um, to kind of incentivize them um, to book close in. Um, and so that's what I did for the raffle. So this is kind of the last thing to share with you was um, the order of the open house. So I had it, my start at 10. So from 10 to t uh, 10.30, people arrived. I made sure to hand a catalog to each person, greet each person, chit-chat with people, invite them to eat. Um, and then at 10.30, I did my live demo, where I called everyone over into the kitchen. I did the spinach and artichoke dip. And this was really worth my time, because um, they had already been looking at the catalog for 30 minutes, and about five of them ordered the manual food processor because they saw me use it. Um, that was super important. Then from 10.45 um, to 11, I explained the raffle, just took time answering product questions from the people as they shopped. Um, then I took orders, handed out raffle tickets, and did, did the drawing around 11.40. Um, and then at the end of the show, I gathered everyone who booked a show and did a quick host coaching with them before they left and sent them away with host packets that I had brought with me. Really, the key to this event is the follow-up. Um, everyone who was able to come, I had about, um, about eight people come to the open house, six ordered, one booked a show, and one is thinking about booking a show in December, but she's on the fence, but I'll get her. Um, but the key is really the follow-up with all the people who didn't make the show. So what I did was I went home, went back into the beta site, I um, emailed everyone the thank you for coming email or the thank you for ordering email, and then I sent a sorry you couldn't attend email to everyone who had given me their email address and wasn't able to come. And from that, I was able to get two more outside orders from people who didn't come to the open house but um, wanted to still order on the show. So the show ended up being $600. It took probably two out, three hours the morning of the event and then about an hour and a half, two hours knocking on doors. Completely worth my time to do this and all the new contacts that I made. So I hope you enjoyed these little tips I have and good luck with your holiday open house.